Good morning everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today on this video I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the Emeryless. Um, I hope I would have a better example than these random bulbs in the, in the ground, but um, I've went to several stores and I couldn't find any. There were some, but they were like Emeryless kit and Emeryless in wax, but the one I wanted was an actual bulb that you buy. I usually get them all the time at local nursery here, but this year I guess there was none. The only one that I could find were, they were already blooming in the bag that they came with. So you don't, you can buy them in bulk, just the bulk, but they were already bloomed inside the bag. So I was like, yeah, never mind. I'm not going to bother this year. So I will show you the one that I keep, that I've been nurturing, I guess, uh, for the last four years. Um, so I had these ones. I think I, I started with one every year. I bought one. So now they're, they're four in one. <laughs> um... So I've been kept keeping them alive for, yeah, like four years now. Um, you might think right now they're, they're all dead, but it's because they were sleeping. <laughs> so I will go into little details on how I keep care of them and how I keep them reblooming every year in a little bit. Uh, but first, um, Amaryllis. Um, they, they're a really popular flower, I guess, in the Christmas time. Uh, they create huge foliage and then there's a big bloom stalk that will come in and then at the top you're gonna have numerous flowers. Um, three, four, five sometimes, big huge flower. It makes a statement on like a centerpiece or anything and it's so gorgeous. I'm gonna pop up here some pictures of the recent one that I got. I'm pretty sure I have some pictures of the one that are flowering here. Um, cause obviously right now they're not in flower or in bloom. Um, so yeah. Um, to plant these, you want to make sure that you never bury the bulb. So you always want to make sure that there's no water or no soil that goes inside the bulb. Um, as it grows, you're going to have some papery skin around the bulb. So you can see, you know, all that little growth here. The top one, I would, you can remove a little bit. So, you know, you can like remove some. Um, but I would not bother about it. I would just keep adding mulch or something. But if you don't like it, you know, you can always remove it. Um... Just like that and you know it will expose the new growth too <laughs> so you know you can always remove that a little bit and there's some on the bulb as well but you don't want to remove too much so you always want to be careful of that um, other than that after the Christmas has passed and the bloom has died back a lot of people will just throw them out I mean it's only like five to ten bucks so I would throw them out too but because I love gardening you know I keep them years to years so and I love the experience on doing it so all right, so I did a little bit of cleanup, so now they're more like looking prettier. I guess it, it doesn't look as pretty, but anyway. Um, so okay, to get them to rebloom. So what I do after they're done in, in you know in Christmas, I keep them as house plants. So I have them in my basement on my office. They're big, beautiful green leaves. I keep them just like that for um, until summer. When summer hits and there's no more frost outside, so last week of June maybe, I bring them outside. I have a gazebo, I bring them in there or anywhere in the greenhouse, out in the flower, um, in the garden patch, whatever. I bring them out and I leave them outside until September 1st. And if you want them to bloom for Christmas, you have to follow a really tight schedule. So they need like a dormancy period of six to eight weeks. So basically, roughly first week of September or before any frost. So you want to make sure they don't freeze. So then you're going to they're gonna die. So September 1st, for example, we pull them inside. So I pull them inside, I give them one last drink, I cut any yellow leaf that they might have or any dead stuff around, I check them out. If there's some that are dead, I'll remove them. And then after that, I bring them in my um, pump room, I guess, where there's no lights and there's really much. I leave them in there for six to eight weeks and I don't water them, I just leave them there. And then I put an alarm on my phone. So like, you know, six to eight weeks after I pull them out, I give them. And then at that point, I will remove any leaves that are dead because all the green leaf will have died the back. Um, so I cut them off, put them in a sunny area and I will water it one time. And I will not water them until there's actual green growth coming out. And then I will start watering again. So once they have start push like green growth I will water once or twice a week depending when the soil is, is you know damp at that point you can check if there's anyone that are dead you're gonna see they're either never gonna come they're never gonna push green growth or the bulb will not be firm will not be mushy so if the bulb is rock hard 
that means it's dead or mushy is dead. You want a bulb that like kind of has like a little give on it. Um, so that's a really good indication that it's still alive. Which is what you can follow if you go to a garden center too. So if you go to a garden center and all the bulbs are mushy, well, don't buy that because it's never going to grow. So, you know, that's a good indication. After that, like I said, um, after the six to eight weeks, it's probably going to do a, um, it's going to flower for you. There is time that it will not flower. Like mine, I don't follow a schedule anymore. I, sometimes I will, um, but now I just let them flower whenever. I like to have like a surprise, but there's a little thing that I want to do this year. So I was at MacArthur this morning and, um, yeah, they had the, their Christmas bulb, well not Christmas bulb, fall or spring bulbs, I guess. They were all on sale, they were like 75% off, so I was like, that's a perfect project. So I bought some tulip bulb and I bought some crocus and I was like, I'm going to do a project with those. So the top, the tulip, you won't see them today, that's a project coming up, a little spoiler, but I did bought some crocus and I think I paid like a dollar for 20 or something like that, like or a dollar for 10 anyway. They were really cheap and they're beautiful little bulbs and they're all like, they all have growth. I don't think you can see. You probably can't see. But they, they're all like healthy. They're all growing. So I'm going to force them inside. So I was like, what a good idea to put them around. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I'll put five. I'll keep, I'll keep five for our next project. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put them around on this arrangement and it's going to... It's gonna be super cute to have that little crocus coming out of the ground here. So let's, and that's forcing them out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put five of them just around. I'm gonna dig them in the ground, keep the little pointy side up. So you know, pointy side where you see the growth, you're gonna put that up. That's where the roots comes out on the bottom. So you wanna make sure you plant them the right way. I put this one here, put this little one here. And yeah just like this and after I'm gonna plant these I'm like I said I'm just gonna top dress with some mulch I have some moss here I think it's Spanish moss I believe it's really messy so I have them in the box because it makes a lot of mess but I'm just gonna put that around it will look a little prettier than like those dead little looking thing <music> And just like that, so now that the green are all coming out of all of my bulbs, they're all well alive. And if you dig inside, you can see the little bulb coming out, like the bloom stalk. So I'm going to water these every week. I'm going to put them on my watering schedule. Look how beautiful this looks. It looks way better now. So I'm going to leave that on. I have them in my office because that's where I enjoy them. Um, and the little crocus will start growing and I would say maybe two, three weeks, we're gonna see beautiful crocus blooms. So it's gonna be really cute. I will give you guys an update on my Instagram and my Facebook, so please give me a follow. And the link is down below in the video. If you have any question, um, please leave them in the comments or DM me, that's totally fine. I will respond to any question that I can. And then, um, yeah, I will give you an update on these as well, like I just said, and um, I will probably do a more detailed video next year. Um, and I'll probably have some actual on this next year. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I have some bulb to show you how I plant them and all of that. So love you all. Bye bye.